All right, hello. Um, we're gonna do a um, tandem carry and a, this is a base minus two. I do prefer to try to do it in a base minus one, um, just to give you just a little bit more kind of wiggle room with the weed queen. So I have got her up in a ruck right now and kind of like a ruck tied at shoulder. I started just a tiny bit off center, but not, um, not a ton, probably a, like, very much in a base minus two. If you do a base minus one, then you'll you don't have to start, or you can start a little bit further over, so you have enough tail. So, um, I'm gonna take this side piece after I've done my independent secured knot on the other side, and I'm going to wrap it through. And this is what's going to make my pocket for second baby. And put them. So after I pull it through, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of wiggle room to kind of work with. Don't it. Take second baby up, and I'm just going to feed them through the traditional sling carry pass that I made. So we're basically going to be working kind of like it's a ring sling right now. So just have baby sit on that tube of fabric, and then feed it up and over. Tuck baby in. Make sure baby has a decent seat. And tighten everything down. <laughs> Does that tickle your toes? Oh. Tighten them in. Alright, so depending on what size of a carry or a uh, wrap that you're using, you can either take this piece and come around and just tie under the bum or a little bit off centered. If you are using a base minus one, then you can also do a um, cross pass by going under the leg like I just did and bringing it up and you'll have a little bit more tail where you can tie off basically at the other shoulder. Because I've got a base minus two, I'm just gonna have enough room to kind of come around and tie the knot off. So what I do is start with it kind of going across baby's back and do my knot. And I'm gonna kind of be tying off in the tippy tails, but as long as I've got all the tail kind of tucked in there, then it should hold fine, even though it's in the tails. And then I'm going to slide my knot down and have it tucked under baby's bottom. And then you have a independently secured, because I have my double knots from the rock tight at shoulder over there. And then the second carry secured, like I said. And if you do have a um, base minus one, uh, you can take that second instead of making just a traditional sling pass and then a tie off, you can do a cross pass and tie it up at the other shoulder, which makes it a little bit more comfortable um, for me if you're gonna be doing it longer term. But that's kind of a quick demo because my phone kept dying. So hopefully, hopefully we got it on there this time. <laughs> 